we're going to start a new project on Android Studio. That's going to be our first application. So we go File New, New Project. If it's the first time you fire up Android Studio, then it's going to come up with a wizard for this. And then you see where it says New Project. You're going to want to create, you're going to want to give it a name, right? Um, the name of the app, right? So it's going to be My Application. Now how about we put Test Application, OK? You're going to have a company domain, which provides a qualifier that will be appended to the package name. Um, Android Studio will remember this qualifier for each new project you create. So for example, if my company domain is fed, then my package name is going to be fed.test application, right? And that's fine. You can just leave it or put whatever you want. And then the project location, the, the project location, it's going to be um, you know, wherever you want to leave your Android Studio projects. And then say next. Now here, it says where you want to run this, right? I want to run it in a phone and tablet. You can run it on Wear, TV, Android Auto, and Glass, right? But we're going to say phone and tablet. And then the minimum SDK, okay, would be whatever, whatever you want to code for. Usually you want to code for newer phones, right? And the good thing is that, say, for example, I decide to develop for Android Jelly Bean, it'll tell me that approximately 88.7% of the devices that are active on the market will benefit from this, right? And that's very good. If I change this to the um, Lollipop, right, which is the popular one now, my app will run in less than 1% of the devices. If I choose the Android M preview, then it's going to be also a very small percentage, right? If I go in 5.0, which is at the first lollipop, then it's about 10% of the devices. If I go with KitKat, that's a lot more. It's almost 50%. So I think Jelly Bean is a very good place to start building an app that's going to hit pretty much all the devices pretty soon as, as other older devices get um, outdated. And then you click Next. Now, here, uh, what you want to do is um, you want to start with a blank activity for the first app. There are many pseudo apps built for you, a lot of infrastructure, but let's start with the blank activity and say next. Now, activity is the alias that um, Android uses for the main class of your application and the class that controls this, the controller for this view. Both the view and the controller are called whatever you want to call your main activity. So I'm going to call this test activity. Okay. You will notice that there's a layout name, title, and a menu resource name. We're going to we're going to be concerned with the activity name, and it's not a bad idea to actually name it test activity. And then the title will be uh, my test. Okay. The layout name and the menu resource name are going to come in handy in a bit when we actually code the application. Remember this activity underscore test. It's going to be important. We do finish. And we let Android Studio build the uh, environment for us. That'll take a few, a few minutes. Android Studio has just laid out the environment for us, and you notice that Sometimes it says Gradle working or indexing, still doing some tests here. But in the meantime, I want to show you a few things. You see here there's a layout directory in your project and there's a Java directory. If you open the Java directory and the package here, here's your class test activity and here's a layout file. The layout file, okay, the layout file tells the phone what's going to be the layout of your application. Initially, it's just blank. And the activity is the class that controls that layout in Java. You will have other directories here. The Gradle scripts, these are all that you need to uh, know to actually understand what this is doing, all the, all the parts together. Um, if you click on the on the build Gradle here, you will see, oops, on this one, sorry, on the app, on the app's build Gradle, 
you will see the version what what this is application is going to work on the ID which is the package name the target version and the minimum version and you will see other rules that you might that you might or the packages that you might want to import okay and this application basically it's blank if you see the activity text XML this is the layout of your screen but of course to see it like this it's very inconvenient mostly the first time around so you can click on the design tab here at the bottom and it will actually display a phone with whatever you have so far and all we have so far is like a little hello world that comes by default you'll see in a second now the next step for us will be to run our application to run our application we need either an emulator that can display this or a real phone uh, to run it on a real device you'll have to enable US debugging and then go to the developer options and enable the enable the 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 ability to run applications there one one of the popular ways to do this is to tap the build number in your phone or your tablet seven times and then it developer options will be will be uh, available to you but if you want to run it in an emulator what you need is to create an emulator so you will go to this little icon over here that has like a little tablet here this is the AVD manager. AVD stands for um, for Android Virtual Device. So we click there and we see if we have any. I have three here, but you can create new ones and it's very easy. If I say create virtual device, I can select the model and then just say next and it'll ask me for memory. It, it's very straightforward. But I'm gonna, so I know my virtual devices. I'm going to run my Nexus 5, for example. So I just click there and it'll take a while before it's up and running. Now we have our phone here. We're waiting for Android to start, but in the meantime I want you to look at the clock on my computer and how it's changing uh, so you understand that these things sadly take time. They're, they're slow things to, to um, to start up and get up and running. And now my emulator has started, so I can I can then test applications and whatnot. Alright, so since we have this, we close my AVD manager, I go back to my Android Studio and I will run my app with this little play button here. And then when I run it, it's gonna ask me whether I want to use this emulator to run my application. All right, so then it asks me which, where do I want to run it? I'll say that emulator that I just fired up. And then it's installing the application here and you will see it come here. You see it's a, it's a blank screen with the words test application and hello world. And that is exactly what I see on my emulator of the phone, test application and hello world. So now you can get a basic application in your environment set up and running to run um, to run Android.